everybody, I'm Amy from From the Cauldron and in today's episode of Dye Time I'm going to be dyeing this new to me very very hairy fibre. This is banana. <laughs> I've got no idea how it has been made but it is banana fibre. It is so hairy. I've just spun up a little bit and I'm now covered in this fibre. So this should be very interesting to see how the dyeing process affects this hairy fibre and if it will be quite this hairy and fly away after it's been dyed. So now I'm going to go and soak this in some soda ash and water while I decide which dyes I'm going to use. This banana fibre has been sitting in soda ash and water for probably close to a month now. So it certainly had enough time to for pre-soak. Now I'm just going to use up a little bit of scarlet that I have left over from a different project. There's not much there. Now this is scarlet fibre reactive dye from Dharma. Since this is a plant-based fibre, it needs fibre reactive dyes. There we go. Right, make sure my hands are dry and I'm now going to use Sweet Pea um, which is a fibre reactive dye from Dharma as well. Uh, I'm really enjoying this hand painting at the moment. I've been doing a couple of hand painting projects today. It's, it's fun. I'm really enjoying it. And when it comes to plant-based fibres I get so focused on I need to ice dye everything that I forget about hand painting and how much I actually enjoy it. So I'm just I'm making the most of it today and just hand painting stuff. So I'm just trying to spread this sweet pea out as much as I can. This banana fibre is just so silky and smooth. I think I'm going to use one more colour there and that is going to be this one which is Dances with Raisins which is also another fibre reactive dye from Dharma. It's not one I've really used that much so I don't really know how it behaves but it is a pretty colour and I'm hoping that this will just be really nice hand painted fibre by the end of this. That's what I'm hoping and it'll turn into pretty yarn is the end, is the end hope. There we go. Now because this is plant-based fibre, it just needs time rather than heat to set the colours to the, to the, the, the fibre. So once I've finished mucking about here, I'm going to roll this up in the um, cling film I've got here. So I've got the towel to protect my surface and then I put this on cling film. And all the equipment I've used today is dedicated for dyeing. It's never used for food. There we go. And now I'm going to leave this for a couple of days and then we can wash it. This banana fibre has been sitting there for a couple of days now, for two days. So let's unravel it and very gently wash it. There is a little bit of yellow on this and that's because uh, I put it in the same box as the banana yarn and uh, there has been a bit of leakage with this one but it doesn't look like the yellow has actually got onto the fibre. And yet there is some colour coming out. I'm not surprised because it is a plant-based fibre and this is what happens with the other plant-based fibres that I, I dye with. So what I'm going to do is just add a little bit of washing up liquid. This is just cold tap water. I'm just going to let that soak for a couple of minutes. It's got a bit of soap in it now so I'm going to transfer this to another pot and just let this soak. Yeah, a bit of dye coming out there. I'm not too worried about getting the water to completely clear because I will be spinning this and then uh, to set the to set the spin you need to soak, soak it in warm water so again there will be another opportunity for this to get washed and get the get all the dye out. But you can see a lot of that dye has already come out. The, the water isn't as dark as it was so I don't think this is going to take too long. Yeah, I think I'll probably change the water one more time and then very carefully hang this up to dry. 
here is the finished banana fibre. Now it is a bit scruffy, you can see the it doesn't hold together quite as nicely as animal based fibres I've noticed. It's um, it's not felted at all, you can see it's sort of all coming away from each other itself. So it's yeah, it's definitely not felted and this is definitely spinnable which is what I'm about to go do. If we have a look at these colours, I think they're, they're great. I love this Dancers with Raisins. I really need to use that colour more because it's so pretty. And I really like how the Dancers with Raisins and Sweet Pea works. And you've got this lovely scarlet at this end. I think it looks great. And I am now going to go spin this. I've spun this fibre. I set the twist. And now I have some banana yarn. And there's a sentence I never thought I would say. I didn't divide the colours up in this, I just split the fibre in half and spun like that so each sort of piece that I spun had all three colours in eventually. So that's why it's sort of a barber pole effect here but I love it, I think it looks really lovely and there are some sections where it looks like the colours did line up ever so slightly. But overall, I think that's really pretty and it's been so much fun spinning this and dyeing it. Thank you so much for watching this video. I really hope you have enjoyed watching it as much as I have enjoyed making it. I have loved every step of the way from the preparing to dyeing to spinning this fibre and it still blows my mind that this is banana. What do you think? Leave a comment down below. I'm hoping to dye some more unusual plant-based fibres in the future so make sure you are subscribed to my channel and you've got notifications turned on so you don't miss any new upcoming videos. Thank you so much for watching.